The Freshman 15. Everyone who is or has ever been in college has heard of or feared these three words. While many ideas exist about it, the best definition of this phantom phenomenon can best be described as a noticeable amount of weight gained during the first years of college. But why does this happen? Is it due to the uncontrollable urge to eat out of temptation, or does it stem from more political and fiscal ends? And how do students feel about the various options to eat in college, and how to manage the money they spend on food in college? The answer to these questions and more come to light in The Meal Plan, How to Gain and Spend Less. First, let's meet a group of students who will help bring to life the student perspective on these matters. I'm Dan Marino. I'm Joe Hetzel. Name is Daryl Jones. I go by the nickname Jazz. I'm Kasha Pluto. My name is Chakaba Giuliano. I'm Chrissy Furiosi. Now to get a little more personal with them and ask them about their experience with the Freshman 15. Well, we're going back to Freshman year, it seems so long ago, but nah, I can't really say, I don't think so. I definitely gained weight my freshman year. I gained the freshman like 30. I like gained so much on freshman year, but I definitely think it was because like the meal plan, truthfully. I actually lost pounds when I came here, so it worked in reverse for me. Gained some kind of weight last year. Looking at pictures, I had a much fuller face last Christmas. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna blame that on the meal plan. Uh, you know, eating, pigging out at Morgan or J&H. I definitely gained the freshman 15 and maybe a few pounds extra, but it was definitely because of J&H and the sack and Morgan. At Temple University, all freshmen living on campus and undergraduates living in certain housing are contractually obligated to subscribe to a university meal plan of a minimum of 10 meals a week at the designated on-campus food halls. The two main food halls, the J. Esposito Dining Room inside of Johnson and Hardwick Residential Housing on the north end of campus, and the second floor of Morgan Hall Dining Complex on the south end of campus, are one swipe entry all you can eat buffets. Other dining centers that accept equivalency of the meal plan include a small food court inside the Howard Giddes Student Center and fast food esque style restaurants on the first floor of Morgan Hall including a walk star and a Tony Loop. That's quite a lot of different food and temptation for one meal plan. But do the students really feel that they're getting a quality meal? <laughs> I guess some of the places have healthy foods. I mean, there's always the salad bar in J&H and J &H at Morgan. Oh, hell no. Mm -mm. I'll leave it at that. But there's plenty of places that are less than healthy. Um, last year I ate there, but I actually have not gone back to the, um, like, on campus, like, places, like J&H &H and stuff. I would just go to Chipotle, usually. Uh, I think they offer some things and they say it's healthy, but the quality of it isn't that great. No, <laughs> the meal plan, well, price-wise itself, the meal plan is way too expensive for what you're given. Pretty much, but there's nothing really healthy healthy, but you can try as best you can to put it all together. I mean, the options are certainly there, it's just you have to ask for it, and I would like the more friendly available food. Luckily for them, after their freshman year, they can move into either Temple Towers or Morgan Hall. The difference between these two types of housing that freshman dorms only allow microwaves while upperclassmen housing offers full kitchen. I live in the most basic housing, which is hard work. We just have a microwave. I live on campus in Temple Towers. The room came with a gas stove and oven, a refrigerator, and a microwave, and then Two of my roommates brought a toaster and a toaster oven, and I brought a coffee maker. All these like weird gadgets, like a Nutribullet and a panini maker and like all that jazz. Now the students are able to break free from their meal plan and eat healthier food in their dorms. But what exactly is their ultimate plan for future freshmen to escape the freshman 15? I think one of the 
biggest things is you need to make the conscious effort to try to eat well. I guess in either way, you have to you have to want to stay healthy. Like you have to you have to go out of your way to to stay healthy. So with like a meal plan, you know, it's not picking Tony Luke's, it's picking the salad bar. Other thing I would say would if you have access to cooking learn to cook. I think not go for like cheap food even though it's like less costing. Like maybe it's better to buy like less things and then spend more on like healthier foods. I will go back to what I tell a couple of my freshman friends is you would if you can if you live on campus go have a place that's apartment style where you have an oven and whatnot and buy in bulk and use that, it's definitely a much healthier and tastier choice than going on campus to one of their facilities. So I'll restrict myself too, like I've stopped eating the burgers, I'll get more salads and I'll get more like vegetarian whole things just because like I feel like that's gonna help me get a little more used to having a healthier diet and cut some of that junk food out. And since it is college, you can limit yourself a lot. I think the first step is that if you live off campus, definitely don't get a meal plan because that is unnecessarily like unnecessary money and that is unnecessary calories. Go to the Fresh Groves or take one of those courses that Temple offers on eating or offers on eating healthy and eating cheap because I know they offer that because like, okay. And just buy what you need. Don't buy extra and just maintain a healthy living lifestyle of exercise because being healthy isn't just eating right, it's also staying active and doing your part to maintain your body. In the end, it appears the Freshman 15 is a creation not from temptation, but from a university-controlled environment serving fattening foods to a populace with little choice. And while there might be a few ways to avoid it, that just seems to be the way the college cookie crumbles.